Abner Otoba Kugwenu, also known as John Stewart, was an abolitionist, political activist, and philosopher from the Gold Coast, present-day Ghana in West Africa. He was born in 1757 in Ejumakon, a town in the central region of Ghana. When Kugwenu was just 13 years old, he was abducted by slave traders along with around 13 to 20 other boys and girls his age as they were playing in the field and sold into slavery. They were transported to Grenada. In his work, Thought and Sentiment on the Evil and Wicked Traffic of the Slavery and Commerce of Human Species, Kugwanu gives a detailed account of the inhumane treatment he and other enslaved individuals faced during the journey on the slave ship. Upon arrival, Kugwanu was sold as a slave to plantation owners in Grenada. He described his treatment as extremely harsh. Being in this dreadful captivity and horrible slavery without hope of deliverance for about 8 or 9 months, beholding the most dreadful scenes of misery and seeing my miserable companions often cruelly lashed and as it were cut to pieces for the most trifling fault, this made me often tremble and weep but I escaped better than many of them. Kugwanu was kept as a slave in the Caribbean until he was bought by Alexander Campbell, a merchant who brought him to England in 1772. He was baptized and given the name John Stewart at St. James Church, Piccadilly in 1773. He had a strong desire to learn and taught himself to read and write, which he said became his recreation, pleasure and delight. In 1784, Kugwanu was hired by artists Richard and Maria Cosway and quickly gained the attention of prominent British figures. He joined the Sons of Africa, an abolitionist group that actively spoke against slavery. The group was made up of Africans who had been freed from slavery and were living in London. Many of them had been educated and used their literacy to write to newspapers and deliver public lectures and petition parliaments on these issues. In 1786, Kugwanu and his friend, William Green, played a crucial role in saving Henry Demain, a kidnapped black man, from being shipped back to the West Indies by contacting Granville Sharp, who at the time was a prominent anti-slavery activist. Sharp was able to remove the main from the ship just before its departure. In 1787, Kugwano, with the assistance of his friend Oluda Ikweno, published a personal account of his experiences as an enslaved person titled Narrative of the Enslavement of a Native of Africa. He strongly advocated the abolition of slavery and the immediate liberation of all enslaved individuals. Copies of the book were sent to King George III, the Prince of Wales, and other influential politicians, but it was not successful in convincing them to support the abolition of the slave trade. Kugwenu was the first African to publicly call for the complete abolition of the slave trade and freedom for all slaves in his book, despite the opposition of King George III and other members of the royal family. Kugwenu continued to publish shorter versions of his book, targeting the Sons of African group. The last recorded letter from him, written in 1791, mentions his plans to promote the book by traveling. He expressed the desire to travel to Nova Scotia to recruit settlers for a proposed colony of African Britons in Sierra Leone, where slavery will be abolished. The exact cause, date and location of his death are unknown, but it is believed that he passed away in the 1790s. Even though Kugwanu didn't live to see the abolition of slavery in Britain in 1807 and in the colonies in 1834, he would have been gratified knowing that slavery was abolished. He consistently campaigned for the ending of slavery and exploitation in Africa and promoted Africa's economic liberation and the freedom of its people. He was a proud son of Africa. In 2020, English Heritage erected a blue plaque at Schomberg House on Palmo to commemorate Kugwano. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button, like, share, and leave your comments below. Thank you.